The two best teams clashing now from the upper part of the single elimination bracket. We have Fly and Infi, absolute legends, of course, here in this game. Defeated Lawlight and Sock to reach this state. And on the other side, another pair of legends in TH and Lin. Lin had the chance to claim two championships here today. Maybe at least one will find his way to the trophy shells. Drunken Ted, thank you for the sub. Senji Bumaye, thank you for the sub. If you guys want to support us, feel free. Back to warcraft.com slash support. And to start the series off, a like to the channel would be really, really good here on Twitch or on YouTube. Still aiming for the 100k subs, so I finally get my play button. What do we got? Infi was... I'm not too sure if he's on random or not, because usually the item displays it in the prediction or in the slides. It said random. Now he's human, so either he's lucky... Oh no. Oh, they changed the colors? No, don't change the colors like that. I hope they're working on it. We need team colors, baby. Give me the team colors. Alt A, yep, yeah, you were just there. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So TH and Lin on the right hand side. No, TH and Lin on the yeah on the right hand side in yellow. If he's playing human, thank you, Kova. Okay, so it is a mirror matchup. All the speculation about random teams not the case. Nullwood close position. Starting off with a Shadow Hunter first, are we? Fly. That paired with a Pit Lord or a TC looked really good on bigger maps. Question is, will you have the time? Two summons against you in Archmage and Wolves. Infi rocking a sick sweater. Love to see it. And of course you try to delay the opponent as much as possible. It looks like both are kind of working on a level 3 for Archmage. With the wolves harassing. More experience in 2-on-2 two two competition goes to Fly and Infi. They've been playing together for a long time. Going back to Rogue Warrior days, WGTL. Lin and TH, a rather newly formed team. But I'm sure they get along well. It's also quite interesting, eh? TH was uh, a co-organizer, co-founder of this league. A little bit of a falling off, falling out. Within Fi especially, and now they face each other in the grand final. Wouldn't a, a win be sweet here? This is best of five, so first to three. Infi and Fly get the dragon in the middle. With rune braces, not an important item, but nice to take it away. Shadowhunter Hex Heal Wave, fantastic skill set to have in two and two. But first push, TH and Lin into Infi's base. What's that arcane tower? If they killed it, it's a lot of repair. Maybe that's the one thing they want to force already to slow down the tech at the arrival of tier 2. But they are in fighting shape, in position, mercs are falling on the fly and infi side. And against Hex, it's hard to run away. Shadow Priest here killed as well. Footies are bruised but survive because Shadow Hunter is a great hero. What he doesn't necessarily have is a good amount of damage, but two more exit kills thanks to Grunt and a surround. So was that super effective? I don't know. I would necessarily 
say so. On the fly side, Raider Walker, it is Infi. Ooh, he wanted to go for rifles and the blacksmith is late. Lumber is low. Yo, this probably did more than we initially anticipated. And the Farsi is getting caught there as well. Going from bad to worse a little bit. At least it looks like it. This should be quite some timing, eh? On the TH and Lin side, Lin. I don't want to say carried by TH, but I'm very, very sure that uh, TH offered, yo, dude, you focus on your one-on-one -on -one prep. Let me do the two-on-two -two strats. And that was indeed working out quite well. So Fly and Infi, how do you bring this back now from getting that little, little slap in the face at the beginning of the game? Just more, more attacks. Good combination, we've got a Blood Mage on Infi's side, absolutely adores that hero, SH. And TC is the combo. No pit lord. And they force the TP. That is cost. So away we go. They still want to continue brawling with the aura. Fly and Infia faster with Shadow Hunter Hex, of course. Can always take out a unit. And this doesn't look too great for TH and Lin. But also, Infi lost quite a bit. Shaman are falling early. Shaman, actually, with Lightning Shield. Not the worst thing to have, I think. Attempt of a surround. <laughs> Paladin brings a Tome of Retraining early. With for Blizzard, they got the Volsion Aura as well. As, uh, Shadow Hunter getting caught for Lin, and there's no way out again. That's a big, big, big problem. Can't fight anymore. Heal wave, okay. But Hex, oh no, did he pass the TP? And then died, he did. What a disaster. It, TH and Lin in trouble, man. Fly plus Infi getting far ahead despite this little harass into the base. The zero kill was huge. How are you supposed to continue fighting? That save didn't work at all. Blizzard got to carry a little bit and home turf advantage got to carry a little bit. But mana sustain is just the craziest. Satisfied though. Ooh, and Lin went to tier 3 on the back of this. And Fly did not. So there is another chance with Berserker Headhunters. Oi, 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 mana, oi, mana, oi, mana oi, fountain oi. now. Alright, Blizzard on both sides. Will this SH ever fall off? I don't think so. TC is getting stronger, of course, by the minute. Interesting to see Devotion Aura first. Maybe it's because of the Shadow Hunter. But Crumbs, thank you for the four gifted subs. And they don't want to give Fly and Infi too much time with their tier three advantage. Did, he, did they actually get something from their tier 3? Is the question, except Headhunters. Not just yet, but Kodo Aura on the horizon as well. Spirit Link against the Blizzard is, I think, a sweet move to have, as well as Heal Wave. Headhunter getting caught. Blizzard against all these. There's no magic immune unit here for Fly and Infi. So Blizzard, star of the show, as so often. But 
How does that translate into the late game? They want to end the game. And I guess they kind of have to. Wee, gnarly blizzard. Do we have heal scrolls? Fly and Infi do have one. They can tank that blizzard a lot better with Spirit Link. I think that's the main adjustment here. The entire day has been blessed with Spirit Link. On this holy, holy day. Blizzard into the back line. How high is the damage output if you have to run? Lin, how do you heal? Stomp on the Archmage. Okay, that's a way to get rid of it. But they're, they're about to lose this game, TH and Lin are. Long, 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 long fights. And of course, that that's where the Blood Mage shines. Any hero kill can possibly decide the game, TC. Also being nuked on the other side. We still don't have Holy Light. That would have been amazing. But that Paladin goes to show how little they killed. Heal Scroll is insane with Spirit Link. Oh my god. And Fly's decision to not tech to tier 3 may be the right one. Breaking upkeep. Heal scroll again. A crucial, crucial item. No time for an expo here at all. Also, no good position for that, really. Bloodlust. Okay. Bloodlusted headhunters. Ra, ra, ra. Aiming for that Archmage. No disable here, so the answer is pressure via damage. Bloody! Oh, the value of the heal wave. So good with Banish. No Flame Strike to double down on AoE. Rather, keeping things safe. It looks so sad seeing this full mana paladin and everything around him is dying. He would love to help, but he didn't pay attention in paladin school. And now they got a TP out. Everything bruised. Oh, Lin didn't get the memo. No TP on him. Only a heal potion. There's a hex and the heroes go down. Lin, so far, not in shape for Championship Monday. Getting his Farseer surrounded early on. Tipped the scales. Got the momentum all for Fly and Infi. And if you give them the advantage, they are not letting go. TH also with a risky sorceress dive. Ay ay ay. His home turf advantage is saving grace. Somehow. Still waiting for the Farsia. Still waiting for wolves and chain lightning. Hailstorm everywhere onto all the casters for TH and man, Fly and Infi, they were grinding some show matches throughout the week and it's all paying off. They 5-0'd Yumiko and Invain in this very matchup, goes to show how good they are. Oh, Blood Mage Shadowhunter, man. What a sick combo that is. Did I see a Wyvern against Rifle? Ah, maybe it was just my mind playing tricks on me. Paladin Saki Saki is about to die. I mean, that's basically a Devotion Aura gone. But Lin can't save the TC anymore. And the tournament organizers in Infi and Fly, they take the map. Fly, joyous as he should be and Lin is losing yet another yet another map here today aye 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 almost all according to plan I'd say there was pressure in the early game but not the craziest throwback it was important for them to stay close 
to stay close to Infi's base where the pressure was coming. And then they defended. The hero kill opened up the map far and wide. This Shadow Hunter Blood Mage combo looking good. The Shadow Hunter Blood Mage combo looking good. Can someone stop Infi and Fly in this best of five? I don't know. Synergy is next. A very different map from pretty much close position where you start to opposite position. North and south it is. Itchen Lin, I think in general they have a solid idea. Pressure on Infi, slow everything down so rifles and casters arrive slower. But maybe it would have been better to somehow go for fly, but also maybe that's too expectable. Yeah, but very different dynamic. Hopefully more late game. Maybe even a Lord of the Pit. I come from the depth of the pit. He's the best. He's the best. By far the best. Cool to see, by the way, how many people are watching these two and twos. Like, there's obviously a drop off after one on one, two, two on two. But the viewer numbers are basically twice as high as I would have imagined. That's cool. That's cool. Wait, is it allowed to stop watching Back to Walker during the stream? I don't think so. That's it. That's the spirit. No, you're forced to look at my face the entire day, the entire holiday. Seems like we have a bit of an issue getting games started. Sometimes happens. Only during holiday, yeah. Almond, um, did you find some nice eggs? Some nice colorful eggs? Hazelnut chocolate eggs. <laughs> the best. Really? I knew you're into nuts. You little chipmunk, you. I ever get enough of nuts. Are you bringing me fly again, by the way? 
I would appreciate I would appreciate some fla in August. I think fla is the best thing you can put in your mouth in the like of all things that exist. It's the best. Of course, nice. Hold, hold. Why? Why would you hold? What should we hold? What are we holding? We're not in a rush. Ah, we are in a rush. We continue. Hashtag clueless. Yes. Yes, I am. I am. I am. Alrighty. Human orc mirror continues in the red. This time it is fly and infi in the red and the top where they belong because they're 1 0 up. And TH and Lin fighting from behind. All right. Oh, Fly is having a good time. A lot of communication going on. They had a fantastic base build in the semifinal where everything was symmetric. Oh, it looked so good. It looked really... Is that a rifle build? What? Okay. TH, you madman. What have you been cooking up? Is that... Grunts and rifles? That is relatively slow, but also relatively powerful. Did we see the hero already? Now we will in a second. Is it Farsia? Is it Archmage? Yeah, Archmage Rifles. What the hell, TH? So instead of Farsia Headhunter, they enable a fast tech for Fly. Ah, for Lin. God damn, it's so confusing. For Lin. And go into Orc Frontline Rifles. Hmm. Not sure if I like it. Brick Ball, thank you for the 46 months. But crumbs, thank you very much for being so generous, giving Easter eggs to some lovely people. Much love, much love, much love. So, Synergy, obviously a map where you can grow your base together. First, it's oftentimes a lot of creeping. And then we push. And contest. Symmetric map in the middle. But yeah, so this is quite some time for the rifles to come out. There's fountains in the corners that are relatively hard to reach as they're so far out. Turtles on the right side and left hand side, huge camp. And TH just sticking to tier one. It's four minutes in. Is he feeding? Is he feeding Lin to a crazy fast tier 2? Infi is already attacking, yeah. Hmm. I don't really see where this is a lot better yet. 
than footmen and headhunters, but maybe the fight will show us. Oh, scroll of the beast by fly and infi. Scroll of the beast on the other side as well. Oh, grunt in trouble, but also rifleman in trouble. Double level three is so important. Chain lightning is solid. Levels solid. Supply numbers also. Very, very even. Lin, a bit more on the receiving end, but oi, TH, man, this is working out now. At least for a couple of seconds, he was able to get someone. Uh, some of them. Huh. Perception! Thank you for the Prime! Okay, they do prevail with a fast tech on Lin, but that fast tech has to shine now as well. TH is catching up. He's still getting some kills in the back line. And this Boro is so vulnerable. Is there enough damage though? That's the last water elemental. The rifles are helping. Repairs kicking in. Oh, the summon attack on Burroughs. So powerful. Fly is supply blocked at 30 food. That's ridiculous. And they keep up the pressure, of course, but works in one-on-one. -on -one. If you double down on that, that can be crazy good. Question is always at what cost. And you know, there's not too much cost. TC at Militia Defender at home. The buildings were not cancelled just yet. And Fly is in the dirt. Can't build for a long time. At least he got the Shadow Hunter out. That's sweet. And with rifles, movement speed is a problem. They are very, very slow. Ah! He saves the rifle! The little snail! Lol! Yeah, this map is going clearly into TH and Lin's favor. Did not see these rifles coming. Did not see the tier 2 push coming. Could be a bit risky if they overcommit, but man, there's this juicy, juicy backline. And now it's time to leave and time to play the supply advantage. Uh, fly! Careful! What? Oh, that was greedy. SH as well. Are they baited into staying here due to the heroes being so low? More water elementals. Absolute carry. I don't necessarily see these riflemen anymore. I kind of think they vanished, but level four archmage man. SH, good night. This is dominance. Damn, I was looking forward to like tier three stuff, but they just rush across and destroy fly as fast as possible. There is tier three cute now, but what can they really do? What can that really do? It didn't help Lin on game one. A two and two for the longest time in the 2010s was a tier two affair. Or the two, and the, like when clan leagues were big, it was always tier two. Then Undead Night Elf kind of brought tier three into the mix and then things got really crazy. Especially with Orc Undead. But tier 2 is back on the menu, boys. Powerful as ever. I guess TH and Lin, they're not scaling from this point out. Like only in mass, not in technology or big power spikes anymore. So they retreat, heal a little bit. Whoopsie, creep wakes up.
It's a fine, fine game. Ah! Just siphoned enough mana to stop the storm. <laughs> stop the storm! But it feels like it's a numbers game. That stomp was not that good, but at least he got it out before he got siphoned again. And all the kills I see are only on the red team. Raider is playing with his life. Breakers could add the necessary front line. Maybe they can hang on. Fly looks a lot more serious than in the beginning of the game, obviously. But his headhunters, he is tier 3 now. They will grow to Berserker soon. But as long as the breakers are only trickling in one by one, that's a problem. And having no shadow hunter is also a big problem. <sighs> Bonk. Stumps are so good. TC, good choice. They worked out well, at least the, the Lin one. Lightning Shield backline needs some support. Solid effort by Fly and TH, especially the Blood Mage, man. I gotta say, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Blood Mage in the quarter and semi-final, but here it looks kind of solid. Rifles falling though. Counter storm. Nuke. Ethereal form. Sick save by Infi. Not enough damage from the casters to do anything about it. No chain lightning as well. That was class. A kingdom for consumables. Nobody has them really. Are they seriously holding this? They need time to heal up and they don't have it. Level 5 on the Farsia. Yeah, the Brilliance Aura is as good as it gets. Ay ay ay, 90 food. Okay, fly still supply blocked. Needs another burrow. We have potions on the fly and infi team, but no scrolls. No scrolls anywhere. Blizzard transition on both sides. It is level 3 for T8 though. Oh, it's level 3 brilliant, Zora. Still good. And Lin quite a bit on the receiving end. But now his TC can carry again with Lightning Shield. Oh, doesn't help too much against Breakers, of course. Otherwise, he'd lose a lot of uh, a lot of mana that you don't really want. Fly breaking through of that almost surround. But yeah, this is so much now. Trying to portal out AOE is crazy. That chain lightning mass murder. And just when it looked like they had a little bit of momentum, TH and Infi, no, TH and Lin, oh my god, are clobbering them down again. Would love to see a heal scroll. Shop is kinda close. 
But yeah, very cost efficient army with grunts and rifles both not too expensive. This choke though, this choke could be scary if the breakers retreat a little bit, close the door. TC behind enemy lines, but this is so sick. Stomp and blizzard and mass kills. Chain lightning on top as well, of course. Once again, it has to be banished, but this time it gets purged. This needle hole is an opportunity for Infi to do some blizzard damage himself. TC level 4, the big axe is decapitating these breakers. But quite some losses, I gotta say. Positioning on this map, they underestimated the choke. The rifles weren't able to connect too well. And the turtle's still up for grabs. Everything, a kingdom for you. They have no healing. Only TPs. And if there's no healing, Storm Blizzard Chain Lightning does so much! Again, the TC stop more or less, but this battlefield is far more open than before. Even though they are doing a great job with the positioning. It's as best as it can be, I guess. Man, T Agent Infi and Lin, they have to work so hard to close out this victory. But they have an expansion on the back of things. If one of them can edge out a tier 3 timing, then that's probably game. Ooh. Exposed rifles, TH, wake up! With the rising number of breakers, the TC influence on these fights is pretty limited. Four and two. Of course, this hurts Lin more! Sick! Holy light coming in clutch! As so often, man, Paladin. An absurdly strong hero. Blood Mage moving forward. He has the banished lightning shield with the radar. Oh, is he still following? No, not really. That was close. And the number, the, the supply gap is growing and growing and growing. With the double income, with the stronger heroes. With quite some invisibility there as well. The storms are looking good. And they are finally able to reach the back line again. Cast is out here, not out heal the blizzard, but heal against the blizzard. Oh. TH a little slow, I gotta say. I don't know if he's relying and hoping for some end snares on Lin's side, but that was a bit more damage than expected. Sheer brute again, 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 the blizzard, TH! Ay, ay, ay! Way more damage than there should have been. Fly and Infi, they're clawing their way back. Fly has 1k gold. They can do this. Level 3 Chain Lightning is amazing. Double mana potions. The TC is an Ultra Beast. Are they getting to the shop now? Yo, if they get Heal Scrolls! If they get Heal Scrolls now! That could just be it? And TH is on tier 3. On the way to tier 3 at least. 
There's not much hope for Fly and Infi, but as far down as Fly was, Six Storm. Where's the Blizzard follow up? Kinda missed that at the moment. Where's the Blizzard? TH! He's just shooting away the breaker! Ah! What's the difference in damage? Oh, 6k. 6k more damage. Here we go, and now Fly has to react to this. Stomp, he can't run away! Oh, this is so much! Stomp his way through also with an invul potion. But yeah, 69 food for TH. He had better things to do than just throwing a little bit of Blizzard. The next hero kill is probably gonna decide the game. Ethereal form, but if there's magic damage in the air, that doesn't do too much anymore. Infi with level four on the hero. That is sweet. Uh, did Lin just completely stop rebuilding? <laughs> it kinda looks like it. <laughs> Down to 33. The Blizzard battle. It's like a custom map. These breakers. These breakers are kind of turning tides over and over. But yeah, no more consumables now. Closing in on level 6 is TH. Same for Infi actually. Oh, what a nuke! The fast here is gone. One of the biggest damage dealers in the entire team of Fly and Infi. Two hero kills in this fight. This gotta be it. Oh, Archmage Nuke, no way! Town Portal Swap, well done, Lin saves the day. TH, rich! But Infi's still alive. With everything. Oh, what a sick game. Main bases are about to expire. So this expansion becomes more and more important. Fly is also pretty rich, man. Could be a tiny, actually. Fly and Infi should have died like three times. And there is the tiny. So you're telling me two hero kills aren't enough? Bobby, thank you for the 80, 80 month, dude. Jesus. Oh, Fly is double expanding. If that works, man. Lin is level 6 on the Farsia, also close to 5 on the TC. Devotion Aura level 2. We got Dark Ranger with an Orb of Fire and Silence. To stop Siphon and to stop a potential Earthquake and of course Blizzard. Backstab opportunity. Oh, the battlefield is far open. We got knights now. Tower down. All right. Chain lightning. Blizzard everywhere. Man, this knight was nuked in seconds. No damage uptime there, really. The AoE spells rattling through. Fly about to lose quite a bit. The TC saved into banish. And the heal wave, of course, with this mass value. Lightning shield not doing enough. Lin's supply numbers are abysmal. TH, TH needs help. What to do against the breakers? Dark Ranger not paying off too much. Here comes the Stomp, but the nuke isn't enough. Invo potions surround Counter Stomp, and Banish is always there. Always! Invis ca uh, cast on the Paladin. They have to abandon this. 96 food on the teal side. Might be dropping here with the additional chain lightnings. And Fly is rich. He's so rich again. Insane. Insane how they fight through the storm. And now for the first time in forever, they are 
The aggressors! Paladin! No, you were the chosen one! Without devotion aura and without the holy light, there is no chance, is there? After being supply blocked on 20 food, Infi and Fly still pull through. Why were Lin's numbers so low all the time? We have a difference of 15,000 damage on the Archmages. That's just nuts. The blizzards by Infi were just so much better. TC is in trouble, Lin. Oof, holy light to the rescue. But everything is in jeopardy of dying. Everything. Here's the hex. There's the nuke. That's the kill. And man, Infi and Fly win this. Even Infi shares a smile. Fly overjoyed. Oh man, did they deserve this. Oh! Sick. Very, very, very resilient. Hard fought battle. By Fly and Infi. Well done. That was like an outstanding defense. Here on Synergy. Ooh, Lin, are you losing two grand finals today? Back to back. Rough, rough, rough. They couldn't close it out. They couldn't knock him out. The rifles, they looked good at the beginning, didn't they? The burrow timing was good. I even thought the expo paid off. But then Fly. Fly was able to bank so much. It's incredible how rich they were. Or he was especially. Fascinating how two and two can go. Three match points now for Fly and Infi in their own tournament. What a successful weekend for a week for Flyman. At least second place here with three chances now of claiming the championship, plus an unexpected fourth place in the solo competition. Yeah, like if if one here like fifteen thousand damage difference. There was, there was... There was the key. For sure. And a great number of breakers. I feel like Lin and TH got a bit overconfident and thought they can decide the game on the right hand side in that choke. But... Eh uh eh. -uh. They could not. Shattered Exile is next. Afterwards, there might be a game of Happy versus 40. I'll see if we can get access to that after the grand final. Happy birthday to one of Jim's all-time greats slash Arcanator party head emoji. Oh, 
Oh. Not only Leon's birthday, apparently Arcs as well. Yeah, maybe some internal discussions are necessary here between TH and Lin. Blood Mage always seems to turn the whole game around. Hmm. Not even sure. When the Blood Mage shines, he shines, but I've seen him... I felt like they shut him down. I... Gotta say... I think in theory I like a Paladin better. But not this series, man. Not this series. Do you hear my mouse wheel, by the way? Is that too loud? I got a new mouse. I don't know that yet. I don't know stuff like that yet. Yes? Oh, shit. Oops. Okay, I can switch it to a different mode, then you don't hear it. Sorry! Must be super annoying. Jeez. We hear it barely. That's too much. Hello, Link, by the way. Lovely soul. Hope you had a wonderful Easter. Best of five? Yes, best of five. So this might be all ogre after this one. Once we get it running, of course, long day for Lin, map number eight that he's playing, but you know, a regular letter session uh, is much, much longer. It's a little bit different, of course, if it's a grand final. Wonderful, but exhausting, our family, eh? <laughs> It's good ASMR, dude. I would rip my own head off when I would be watching the stream. And like, I'm getting crazy listening to Remo streams because his clicks are so loud. I'm very, very sensitive to sound I can't control. Not only family, but also family. Gotcha. Gotcha. So do you think we'll witness a comeback? What's left in TH and Lin? The Mountain King strategy was great against Happy and Fortitude. But it probably is not working here. Game. Set and match points and championship points. Ooh, Fly is in a great mood, dude. Just look at him go. Fly is having the the, the difference between Fly and Lin. Ay, yay, 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 yay. That is the per. Oh, and also in TH. Yep. That's the perfect expression of how the series is going so far. Like when even Infi is in a good mood, dude. Then you know something something's wrong on the other side. Fly quite a jolly fellow, isn't he? Fasia Headhunter. I think the Ah is the experiment with the rifles over. This is more of a one-on-one -on -one map with then combined forces. 
While on Synergy, you kind of roam around the entire time. Twenty million stream hours today, Neo. It feels like it. <laughs> Once again, I skipped breakfast this morning. And yeah, I am incredibly hungry. But hey, there's Warcraft to cast, is there not? My fault to not prepare good enough. All right, we see a relatively classic opening on Shattered Exile expansion. It is so secured there in between the two bases. It's easy to creep. Oh yeah, give me that. S oh, six steel by Lin. Yo, that was crazy. That means no brilliant Zora early on. They gotta creep a little more. And then we got maybe three base. Three base? I wouldn't hate that. I like it. But of course, there's always when you have a double summon opener. A lot of potential to clobber down towers and stuff. Oi, this time Infi is playing around this a little better, not allowing Lin another kill. And we do have that base up. In the meantime, the human base is under attack, but it's only fly poking. Not the end of the world. But yeah, half a level ahead, thanks to this last hit. That was a really important one, it was also the big one. But we've seen good starts from TH and Lin. And then the later the game went, the better it got for Infi and Fly. And this time they keep up the pressure. They were exposed, of course, to the combined burrow pushes. That shall not happen this time. Very different dynamic, of course, because that early expo. Oh, Lindo! Forcing a portal! Gets the tower! That's important! Exclamation mark on Lin! And Infi had to abandon creeping at 2.92! Plus an expensive town portal. You always gotta carry a town portal, especially when you know that your ally might be under the threat of a burrow push. But it looks like TH is rather disengaging. We have level 3 now available. A cheaper, a faster expansion on TH. That also means that his tech is quite a bit faster as the orcs are arriving here. No more Shadowhunter firsts, Farsia. When everything is so contested, expansions and mercenary camp, you just need Farsia and summons, I think. <laughs> now it's Lin forced into a TP. That was a bit too greedy, wasn't it? Again, a fantastic early game. Disrupted by greed, I would say, but... 
At least the hero didn't fall this time. Ooh, Infi stays on tier 1 while Fly is going to tier 3. This time Lin is also following, expecting a rather calm mid game. But the next power spike will be reached by TH. But the problem, yeah, Lynette no TP anymore. He had to walk back. Heroes are strong though. Double level three scroll of the beast once again. Ooh, and this time they can't follow it up. Scroll of the beast in two and two is insane. Twenty-five percent damage boost on two armies, basically a fifty percent damage boost. And now he can follow up with that level three. This this push might prepare the championship for Infi and Fly, and that would say they are at the moment the best 2 on 2 team in the world at least in this competition oi 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 Lin is losing so much Zeppelin to the rescue doesn't really work fly more sustain and now also Hex this is looking this is looking devastating How are they getting out of this now? Lots and lots of works. Yeah, they're doubling down. This is already the push for the championship here. Chokehold, locked in. Is there any way out? 30 food for Lin only. The tier three is only paying off in a second. And more and more losses. Oh boy, what a sick timing. All the mercs in the world. All the piercing damage in the world. No reinforced defenses. Lin might not even be able to go for a hero. On tier 3. Now TH is going for a blood mage as well, but... Will that save the game? Infi was stuck on tier 1 for such a long time. Pressure is immeasurable. GG! GG! Fly and Infi Warcraft All-Star League 2 on 2 champions. Man, they were striking when the iron was the hottest. Sick mercs! Sick, sick, sick mercs. And Lin, he had the chance for 2 championship as we said. He's going down 1 to 7.